Jeremiah, a prophet, warned the people of Jerusalem that those who stayed in the city would die by sword, famine, or plague, while those who went over to the Babylonians would leave and escape. King Zedekiah, however, believed that Jeremiah was not seeking the good of the people but their ruin. He took Jeremiah into the cistern of Malkija, the king's son, and lowered him into the mud. Ebed-Melech, a Kushite official in the royal palace, heard about Jeremiah's situation and commanded him to take 30 men with him to lift him out of the cistern before he died. He used old rags and worn-out clothes to part the ropes, which Jeremiah did, and they lifted him out of the cistern. King Zedekiah then asked Jeremiah to tell him something, and Jeremiah refused, fearing that the Babylonians would mistreat him. However, Jeremiah told him that if he refused to surrender, all the women left in the king's palace would be brought out to the officials of the king of Babylon, and they would say that they misled him and overcame him. Jeremiah's wives and children would also be brought out to the Babylonians, and he would not escape from their hands but would be captured by the king of Babylon. Zedekiah instructed Jeremiah not to let anyone know about this conversation, and if the officials heard about it, they would ask him to tell them everything the king had ordered. Jeremiah remained in the courtyard of the guard until the day Jerusalem was captured.